Today, I'm in Cleveland, Ohio, at the Lakeview Cemetery. I have come to pay my respects to none other than Elliot Ness. He was born April the 19th, 1903, and passed on May the 16th, 1957. He was an American Prohibition agent, famous for his efforts to bring down Al Capone and enforce prohibition in Chicago. He was the leader of a famous team of law enforcement agents from Chicago, nicknamed the Untouchables. His co-authorship of a popular autobiography, The Untouchables, which was released shortly after his death, launched several television and motion picture portrayals that established Ness's posthumous fame as an incorruptible crime fighter. Shortly after his approval of the final galleys for The Untouchables, on whose writing he and Oscar Fraley had been collaborating as a means on Ness's part of earning money in his later years. Ness collapsed and died of a heart attack at his home in Cloudsport, Pennsylvania on May the 16th, 1957. He was 54 years of age. His body was cremated and his ashes were scattered in one of the small ponds on the grounds of Lakeview Cemetery in Cleveland, Ohio. An admirer later donated a plot near the pond and erected a cenotaph in his honor there. Ness was survived by his widow, Elizabeth Anderson Seaver, and his adopted son, Robert. Elliot Ness became a symbol of a person that was not corruptible in a time when the world suffered corruption and lawlessness. He became the symbol of fair and true law and a person of true value that could not be corrupted no matter what and became somewhat of a hero to some people. One thing is for sure, his story and memories will live on forever.